Hi beautiful people, thanks for joining me in today's video. I am going to share with you what I am packing for my carry-on for my trip to Hawaii. I have spent many days curating this and getting it down to the bare minimum that I am happy with and so I am looking forward to sharing it with you. In the past my husband has given me a very hard time because I'm that person in line or at the gate where I'm pulling things out and rearranging things and everything's in a complete combobulated mess so this time I think I have pared things down perfectly so that I can be comfortable have everything that I want with me on board some backup things in case things go wrong with my checked luggage and I'm not going to be at a panic in the TSA line I hope I'll be able to update you on that, but I am hoping to shock my husband at just how organized I am this time. Thanks for joining me today, guys. My name is Ange, and I love sharing all things that I enjoy as a mature woman. It used to be just beauty and skincare, but I am branching out to other things that bring me joy in my life. I have had a bit of a pivot in my lifestyle with dealing with breast cancer and its treatment last year. It took a toll, life was hard, and I am a sort of going forward with life and just doing things that uh, bring a smile to my face and just lightening up a little bit on my YouTube channel and not being so super focused and doing the things that YouTube algorithm tells you to do. I'm going to post videos on things that bring me joy. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. But let's get into what I'm going to pack in my carry-on. Just to be completely honest, I have packed and repacked my carry-on stuff about six times. I've gone from a duffel bag that I can carry that I thought, oh, I am not lugging that around the airport in between flights, waiting for flights. When we uh, get off the plane in Auckland to transfer to the international flight, we have a 10 minute walk to the international um, airport. And so I didn't want to be lugging something over my shoulder or having something really heavy to take, which was going to be this bag here. Now aesthetically, it's perfect. It has the strap on the side here so that I can put it on my handle of my large suitcase when I'm going to check that in and it was going to be great but it was just going to be too heavy to lug around. Now something else that has to be taken into consideration for Air New Zealand flights is that your carry-on bag can only weigh up to 7 kilos and I have read that they are quite strict on that and sometimes can make you weigh your bag to check that it is within that 7 kgs. So that makes things interesting when you're trying to pack those important things that you don't want to put in your checked bag. I then went to a backpack and once again I fitted everything in here. I loved all the different compartments that I could get in there and uh, different bits and pieces. It fit everything well and I could carry it but once again once on my back it was going to be a bit of a pain lugging it round. So then I went back to my original thought of having your typical carry-on wheelie case and that's what I have gone with. So I am taking a carry-on case hoping like heck it doesn't get taken from me and checked and then my personal item because they're very I can't take a huge personal item bag but I can hopefully get away with this as my handbag and so this 
is going to be okay as a handbag to carry and because I've got my wheelie carry on if I want to I can stick it on top of there as well just to give me the freedom of not having it over my shoulder so that is how I am packing those and then I will show you I have got enough room in my wheelie bag that I can put this personal item in my wheelie suitcase until I want to get on the plane and then I will take my personal item out of my wheelie suitcase and that's what will go under my seat and have everything in it that I need for the flight and my wheelie bag can go over the bin which houses the other items that I don't want in my checked bag but I don't need during the flight. Okay please bear with me as I am not used to doing anything other than talking head videos and I have to play around with my lenses on the camera to see what's going to work better. I don't have time to fluff with that so I've just used my normal lens and so I'm going to hope like heck that this works. So we have my personal item and we have my wheelie suitcase. Now the good thing about this, I have enough room in here to make it easy so that I only have one bag to deal with. I can stick my personal item in my wheelie bag and just have one bag to wheel to and from the airport. My booking information, passports, everything, I've made up a little packet like this. This has got our airline details, passports, our vaccination uh, information, our visas, all together and really accessible for me to grab at the counter when checking in and I don't have to unzip the bag, it's there ready to go just in that little compartment there and easily easily accessible. In this little wee side pocket here I have my inflatable neck pillow because it's going to be an overnight flight I think I'm going to need that to be comfortable but as I don't need it until my international flight and I don't need it on the domestic flight it can stay in there and I can pull it out just before putting my case in the overhead bin and having my neck pillow for the flight. Then for the flight I'm going to just remove my personal item and that will go under the seat for me. So let's start with what is in my actual carry-on. So there is lots of room left in here. I'm going to go through my makeup. This is the makeup that is going on the plane. I'm taking very minimal makeup with me. I have got <clears throat> two, I have got a lip liner, a brow pencil and the Mario brow gel. A, another lip liner, another brow pencil, I love the Huda Beauty one. I have a travel size La Prairie loose powder. One of my favourite eyeshadow palettes, the Tom Ford Coco Mirage, which I was lucky to get here in New Zealand, one of the last ones available. A Hourglass Edit Palette, because it's got bronzer, my under eye setting powder, a finishing powder if I want, a pink and a peachy blush, 
and a highlighter so it's all in one palette that's why I love these then another lip liner I don't know why I've got three maybe I need to keep one behind and then I've just got three eyeliners I've got a, a brown a black and the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk pencils are just so easy and then I'm putting one neutral lipstick in my carry-on so that is the makeup going in this really little pouch it fits perfectly it's really slim but if my check bag doesn't get there uh, anytime soon it doesn't matter as I've got all these bits and pieces ready to go and will keep me going then of course I've got my liquid bag which has my uh, other bits and pieces and that will be in my personal item so I'm really happy with that because it packs down to quite a slim little pouch in this folder I have all the documentation I will need for my holiday my travel insurance my connecting flights the hotels we're staying in things to do and trips we've booked uh, on holiday we're doing a manta ray uh, snorkeling trip one evening so all that information is in that bag I will be wearing my glasses on the flight and not contacts so I will have my glasses case so that when I want to sleep later that night I can pop my glasses away in fact I need to keep that out because it probably needs to go in my personal item and I have my prescription sunglasses and I am packing these in my carry-on my other sunglasses I am leaving in my checked bag that I can wear with contacts because I can always pick up a cheap pair of sunnies at the other end if I want to but at least I've got my prescription pair with me as in my previous video I said I was packing one pair of sandals with me in my carry-on and so I've got my sandals in this bag because I'm wearing my sand shoes on the plane but once I get to Honolulu it's going to be very warm and so I'll want to change into something more appropriate in this little packing cube I have got all of my electronics and chargers that I am going to need the only thing missing from here is my laptop charger which I'll wrap in a separate little pouch but it is charging my laptop at the moment and in here I have got my hard drive for if I'm wanting to edit any videos on the plane ride home because that's during the day so maybe I'll do some editing and I need my hard drive because I don't have a lot of memory on my laptop I have a little travel camera that takes great little photos and does 4k video as well I have my travel adapter for charging all my bits and pieces when we are away I have got my charger for recharging the battery for my camera and I've got this little Bluetooth button for hopefully my phone because I've got a selfie stick that I've packed in my checked baggage for uh, taking selfies and hopefully having a little button like that I've never used one so hopefully that will work and then in this little pouch which was within this pouch I have got a DJI Osmo action camera I've never used it but we're hoping to do a few things that uh, this camera will come in handy for so they're all my electronics that I'm going to need that I will not put in my checked bag but need to be with me on the plane the thing is is if my bag does get checked that is one bag I will pass to my husband for him to put in his carry-on little bag he doesn't take a lot he takes a book and 
his reading glasses and he really doesn't take much at all so he will definitely have room to take those sorts of items that I wouldn't want to put in a checked bag and then last but not least what I have in here is my compressed packing cube that has got well it's probably got four or five different outfits in here by the time I mix and match them it's got a pair of pajamas it's got two pairs of trousers it's got a camisole top a t-shirt and some spare underwear so if I do get stuck without my checked bag I have got at least four days worth of clothes and I can be washing in between. So that's everything that's going in my rolly suitcase. Now before we get to my personal item I just want to share that I'm taking some other makeup items but these are going to go in my carry-on bag. So I have got a one size beauty pressed powder for touching up my powder because I do get shiny. I'm taking another face palette only because I love the shades in this palette. This is a Becca palette uh, with Chloe and Malika. I love the color of the bronzer. I love this blush and I can use this highlighter as well. I don't tend to use this blush topper but three out of four items in here I absolutely love and it's they are just beautiful tones for a nice summery look. For a pop of colour in the evening, because I am planning on getting out a lot with our friends, I have packed this Charlotte Tilbury quad. And then I'm just taking a collection of just very neutral lipsticks. The beigey, one pinky one, and the rest are all beigey, but very, very neutral lipsticks. Glossy, uh, just to see me through the holiday. So they're going in my check bag. I just wanted to share with you the extra items I was taking as far as makeup goes. My personal item is this beautiful handbag. It is leather. It is by the brand Serenade. And although I probably would have liked a more neutral colour bag, this was the perfect size. And I like the fact that it's still not being too bulky but it has everything I need in it so this is what's going to sit underneath my seat I'm in two minds whether to take my book because this could go into my checked bag because of the fact that the main eight hour nine hour flight is going to be overnight where I when I should be sleeping but because we're going to be at the airport so early and we've got an hour and a three quarter flight in between, I, I, it gives me something to do and I don't have to unpack lots of different things to keep me occupied. So that's that. I am taking my noise cancelling Bose headphones. I love these because even if I'm not listening to anything, I love the fact that they dull the noise around me now i do have these these are wireless but they do have a cord to make them wired i have my sleeping mask which i would love to try and find something nicer before we go away and then i've got this little pouch that's packed in there that has charging cords in here to keep them all together i have got my sd cards I've got a my watch charger, I've got my phone charger, I've got another SD card, I've got my plug-in headphones which has an adapter so I can plug that into the jack for the inboard entertainment and then with this adapter I can use it on my phone as well and I also have a little charging adapter 
if I if there is something available on the entertainment and I can use the USB to charge my phone on the entertainment system. So that's all packed in my headphone case. So all of it's together and I don't have to be rummaging around. And I've also got the charger cords, another adapter cord, and my wired cord if I want to use these on the inboard entertainment. So that's what's in my Bose headphone case. In the middle of my bag here, I have my medicine bag. Now because I'm a little bit unsure how things go with us going to the US, I have packed my medicine in the actual medicine packets that have my name and doctor prescribing that medication because uh, I've got my hormone therapy medication in there as well. So I have got that packed and it will be with me all the time. I have my toothbrush in a plastic bag because I like feeling fresh, minty fresh, so I have my toothbrush there. And then I've grabbed some micellar water cleansing wipes. I hate cleansing wipes as a rule, but I am going to use these to freshen up i'm not wearing makeup on the plane i am going to be fresh faced but from time to time i'm going to want to cleanse my face i hate having that dirty feeling face so i've got cleansing wipes for the trip tissues and i have got baby wipes because i just like having this sort of thing after eating and then I don't have to keep getting up and down and going to the bathroom. I have got something on hand that I can use to feel a little bit cleaner. I don't use those sorts of things on a regular basis but I do want them for the flight. And then I've also got some Dettol antibacterial surface wipes for wiping everything down once I get on the plane so I have those as well. I have my wallet which is not going to have a lot in it. It will have my card, my ID and some cash in there. I am taking a ton of, um, well not a ton but I'm taking quite a few face masks on the plane with me and I've got a full box packed in my checked baggage. I do not want to get sick and have to isolate whilst I'm on holiday, so um, face masks are a must. And then last but not least, I will just be tucking my phone in this side pocket here so that it's easy to get to when I'm bopping around the airport. Last but not least, we'll get into my liquids bag. And I have this little TSA approved bag from Sephora that I got on my um, VIB points when I was purchasing makeup through a lovely friend who traveled to the US a lot years ago. And so all my liquids are in here. But to be on the safe side, I've also put those liquids in a little snap lock bag if they turn around and say you need it in a smaller bag it's within the smaller bag inside here so i have just packed whatever i can that's little that i can fit in here that will see me through a skincare regime for a little while uh, i have got some items in my checked bag like a, a, um, a bigger sized cleanser my shampoo and conditioner is in there because that's not that important but I have got the things that I need if this is all I'm going to have so I definitely have got a small tube of toothpaste because I will want to do my teeth whilst I'm traveling I have got a little travel size of eye cream from Biosense from Biosense 
I have got my new favorite foundation and it's what I'm wearing at the moment and that is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Fluid Foundation. I love this for its coverage and how it looks on my mature skin and I'm really happy with it and it actually is quite a small bottle so I'm happy with that. I have got the Tarcha Lip Balm and I'm hoping that throughout this trip I will finish this so I won't need to bring it home but this is going to be uh, a necessary item on the plane. I am just taking a little travel size version of my perfume. This is the Givenchy, I'm not going to say this very well, I'll show you. <laughs> So this is my, my husband bought me this for my birthday and this was a extra uh, bonus at Christmas time so it's a perfect size for packing on board and then I've got a little Tory Birch uh, fragrance that I really like which is a beautiful spray and a great travel size. I am packing my sunscreen in this because we connect in Honolulu to go to the big island. We're going to be getting off the plane in the middle of the day on the big island with, and I need sunscreen, so I'm, I've packed my, um, because this is small, I've packed this in here and it's the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Fluid Factor 50 my vitamin c serum i absolutely love this vitamin c and i need to get some more um, my retinol which is the peter thomas roth pro strength retinol that i am using at the moment now this isn't what's in here <laughs> This is just the, the vessel I'm using, but I have put in my tone, my essence in here, hydrating essence. I just like the bottle because it's really convenient. I have got the Ordinaries Buffet with the copper peptides. I love copper peptides for a serum. And then I've got these two little travel size moisturizers which I thought were perfect and I've not used it before but they're perfect for packing in here and it is the It's Cosmetics a Beauty Sleep Moisturizer. So I thought that would keep me going for a couple of days. A, another lip product, I love this. This is the Melon and Goots, Goots uh, lip product. Very, very hydrating. I've got the Ole, Ole Henriksen Glow O Dark Spot Toner. So that's like um, my acid, my chemical exfoliator. And I've got a little bottle of cleanser so that I can cleanse on the go. A small bottle of Biosense Facial Oil. another little facial oil from youth to the people oil <laughs> from youth to the people i thought i'd pack facial oils so that if i do feel very dehydrated on the plane they are perfect little sizes to use to just give some nourishment to my skin and of course we have to have hand sanitizer and I've put that in a separate baggie because I might pull that out and put it in the little compartment under the tray. So that is everything I am packing for my carry-on bits and pieces. I am really happy with how compact I've got everything but I really feel I've got all the necessities that I need and even if I get told I have to check the little rolly bag there's only you know I think I can squeeze a couple of things into my husband's bag if I could only take my personal items so I think I'm going to be covered to have everything I need to make my flight enjoyable comfortable and take that anxiety away from me that if my check bag goes missing at least I've got the bare minimum to keep me going for a little while and it won't spoil my holiday 
I hope you enjoyed that guys uh, I'm so excited about this trip and uh, I haven't been this happy in a very very long time so I'm really looking forward to this holiday if you did find that helpful please give the video a thumbs up I would truly appreciate it don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you are interested in seeing more content from me I would love to see you back and I hope you have all had a beautiful and a wonderful day and I do look forward to seeing you in my next video. See you later, guys. Bye.